I'm going to show you um, how to make this little paper tassel. It's extremely fast and easy to do. All you need to do is cut a piece of paper and it just depends on the size of your tassel and how thick you want it to be. Um, my piece here I believe is like four inches. Um, and then the next thing you need to do with your piece of paper is to create a score line and about a quarter of an inch in when you're working with a piece of paper this size which I believe is an inch and a half and then if your tassel gets longer and longer then you're going to want to make this area that you're scoring bigger and bigger and think of the top area here that's scored as that top of your tassel and the reason you're scoring it is just to make it easier for the fringes to kind of bend away from it and create more of a tassel look. Then the next thing you do is just come in with a pair of scissors and just cut really skinny pieces of paper, of the paper, all the way up to the score line. And that's going to make your fringe. And it can be simpler than this. And you're just going to do that across the whole piece of paper until you have the whole fringe. And now just think about what side do you want to be the side that you see it color wise if you've got a double sided paper. And then all you're going to do is just roll this up and glue it at the very end. And you've got a simple tassel like this. You can see and of course you can make this as big as you want, um, as small as you can work with, with your fingers. And you can see the scoring allows you to be able to do that and, and make it more fringy. Now the other thing you want to consider is if you want a ribbon or string or something to hang it with, you got a couple of options. You know, you could loop it and as soon as you start rolling, you put it you put the, uh, I hope you can see that, my hands are in the way. So you're going to put your, um, your looped uh, ribbon, string, whatever you want to do at the beginning and then roll. And so that will be glued inside. Um, or, you know, you don't have to do a loop. If you just need one long string, you can do just one long at the beginning. Or, you know, you can do another thing, which is what I did on this one, is once you get it all rolled up, or close to being all rolled up, then you can attach your ribbon and when you're down to the last point where you're going to roll you can attach it here and then attach it here and then continue to roll and close it and your and your loop will kind of be on the outside like that now another thing that you can do um, is to dress up the top however you like. And on in this project, what I did was I dressed up the top with more paper right up here. You can see that. And all that is is one of a part of a snowflake from the collage sheet. <clears throat> I believe it's actually this snowflake here. So I just cut that snowflake in half and wrapped it around the top of the uh, tassel just to give it, you know, make it look uh, more dressy.